present wrapping always leaves such a mess. <laughs> and yes, I am in a bear onesie. Wait, let me show you. rewatching my vlogmas from yesterday and I don't think I showed these properly she couldn't really see them see um, wait I actually have one of these ribbons so it looks like one of these but tiny and I'm gonna put them in because I feel festive today. <laughs> um, so it's December 6th, and tonight we will be celebrating Bakis Avond, uh, which means present evening, <laughs> present night, um, uh, which is uh, our Sinterklaas celebration. So it's basically our Christmas. Um, we'll have lots of presents tonight uh, at my parents' house. And so I'll be celebrating with my parents, my brother, and my boyfriend. And each year we do a kind of secret Santa thing. So we have this uh, Google document, which is shared so anyone can edit. And then uh, we have our wish lists. Um, and then each of us can go and see the other one's uh, uh, wish list and we can cross something off their list uh, to let the other secret Santas know that that present is already has already been bought so but of course then when you go to see the other people's wish lists you can already see if something has been crossed off your own list so so it kind of um, you you know what you're gonna get but not who has bought it for you but um, we've done it for several several years now in this way and we really enjoy it so um, yeah, it's uh, it's how we how we do things. Uh, so I've put up my little <laughs> pink Christmas tree, and I still have to find some lights for it, which I think are in the attic. And I'm too short to pull the attic stairs down, so I'll have to wait. Short people problems, and um, I have taken out some of my hand spun yarn because I want to make a second vlogmas cowl and thank you all so much to those of you who downloaded the pattern uh, and even to those of you who bought the pattern today because it was free until midnight last night and uh, or midnight yesterday uh, and today it is a paid pattern and some of you have already bought it and I'm so so thankful um, and I'm gonna make a second one with my actual hand spun yarn because um, I love spinning yarn, but I have a really hard time finding patterns that are suitable for hand spun yarn. And I'm actually gonna use my very first hand spun yarn for this. Well, you'll know it's not my, my first, but you know, the first one that is actually kind of usable. Um, ooh, let me. Let me actually grab my basket of hand spun. This is not hand spun. Um, <laughs> and this is not either, but I keep fluffy things in here. So, 
This is hand spun, but not by me. Uh, my parents got it at uh, during their Scotland trip. This is uh, from a shop on Isle of Skye. Uh, let me see. But this is some um, camel, uh, camel fiber that I spun. And I thought it would match really well with this one which is by Kremke uh, and is a boucle yarn so it's um it has curls and usually this is um well a kind of a difficult yarn <laughs> to find a pattern for but I think it would be perfect for this cowl so it's a boucle yarn, 89% alpaca, 11% polyamide. So that would be really fun. Or, uh, because I really want to use this one. And I could use it with a mohair. So I was thinking this mohair to give it a little bit of color. Uh, this is a really, really beautiful, variegated mohair. Um, what's this? A dried flower? <laughs> By Wollmetfeave. Coincidentally, also the dyer behind these yarns. Or I thought I could go for Ocean's yarn. Beautiful mohair. Um... This one is called Naughty Fox, and that would be really nice too. But I have another skein of hers uh, in a non-mohair, and I actually wanted to use them together, so I'm going to save this one for that. But yeah, I think these would be really, really fun. wrapping presents. Yeah, and I hope she will like it. So uh, Tim made some wooden crochet hooks and we will gift my mom a set. And I've even tied it, the, the name tag, with some silk that, 100% silk that I spun myself, which was... <laughs> So difficult. I also spun it during that um, during my first ever spinning course. It took several weeks though and this was the very very last project. Yeah, it's so pretty and I think it's a really nice touch 
and one of those doilies, yeah. And it will become a gift box that she can reuse because I haven't written the name on it directly. So, yeah. And I'm just saying this, but if you would like to purchase some uh, crochet hooks or to order them, I may be able to persuade my boyfriend to make some more. So, and I'll wrap it up really nice. So, if you're um, interested in that, let me know and I might just put a pre-order up on my website. So I've just recorded a little how-to video for my patrons for the striped and stranded hat pattern because uh, it has an alternate cable cast on and I wanted to make sure to record a little tutorial video for that. Uh, but, you know, uh, tutorial video makers problems in winter. I have a light here, I have a candle there, I have a candle there, and then... <laughs> okay, so um, you might know that I put tissue paper on my windows if the lighting is really harsh because tissue paper really um, is, is really nice to block harsh lighting. So that's exactly what I did. So I created basically a, how do you, I don't even know the word for this, but like a studio light for my, um, for my tutorial videos. These are just like washing pins. I know, I know. Uh, you can say a lot of things about me, but I am sort of female MacGyver. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I do like to think I'm really uh, creative. Uh, anyway, enough self-promotion. Um, so I am going to knit until the next part I want to film, and then hopefully um, record another video um, yeah, if, uh, if it doesn't take me too long and the light has changed and yeah, tutorial maker problems.